What is going on guys, this is Wolf here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last episode we actually processed a bunch of Omni Geodes over at Clint's. Probably too many honestly, I wanted to keep at least like what three or something like that. Man we got seven uh, Iridium Ore right there, not bad. But I wanted to keep a few of them because we could trade uh, I think three of them or something like that? To get a recipe for the, uh, the Desert Totem, right? And we could start making Desert Totems and just teleport over there now instead of spending 500 gold to ride the bus and all that kind of stuff. But whatever, not that big of a deal. It's probably going to be a little while till we get there again, at least until Thursday, I believe, right? Because I think Thursday is whenever we can buy Deluxe Speed Grow Fertilizer from Sandy and get it for a really good price. So definitely want to remember that later in the week, guys. But uh, put some bait right there. We got two bait. And speaking of the bait and rod and all that kind of stuff, last episode, we started fishing for the sunfish for Demetrius's mission. Yeah, you can see we're at uh, we're about halfway through now. We have to catch 10 sunfish. And today's the final day. We already caught five. Mainly, I mainly did that because it seems like it's impossible for us to do this other one over here to get 100 taro roots and then ship 100 taro roots. As you can see, we almost have the 100 taro roots like harvesting them bit done there and we're not even able to finish that unfortunately it's going to be another like two days until the next uh set of taro roots are done growing right but i did get a comment last episode saying hey why don't you save those taro roots until next time and maybe we can get another uh special request and we'll already be like really ahead of schedule there we just throw all the taro roots inside of the seed maker to get a bunch of seeds and we could finish that mission super duper quickly you guys so definitely want to look out for that uh anyways yeah we have some iridium, iridium ore right there and uh we could actually smelt two uh ingots worth not bad i might want to start actually making some Something. We have 57 of them, jeez. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We definitely want to make something out of that. What all can we make out of it, though? I know I look at this every now and then. Oh, yeah, that Iridium Band thing. Uh, I definitely want to look into Solar Essence. How many do I have? I think Solar Essence is a thing. Yeah, we have 32 there. We have tons of Void Essence. I think the uh, the sewer guy sells Solar Essence, but he may only sell like a few of them, like maybe five maximum. So even then, we're not even able to get enough Solar Essence. And of course, the Travel Merchant uh, is in town, too. And yeah, talking about like Clint and opening up Geodes and all the kind of stuff, we got two Prismatic Shards. We got one from one of the uh, Geodes Clint opened up, and then we put another Geode inside the uh, Geode Crusher thing, and that gave us another Prismatic Shard, uh, which is really cool. And we get a daily coffee over there, which is awesome, too. Uh, you guys might be wondering, yeah, what, what happened to the other uh, Prismatic Shard? We actually put it in the other Junima hut that's like over there. So now both of our Junima huts can have Junimos of like all random colors and stuff, as well as you can see Baby Gungi stuff over here. As I throw her like 10 feet in the air, golly. Yeah, apparently that's like, quote unquote, talking with her. Yeah, talk today, yes. <laughs> So, yeah, she turned into technically a baby now. I guess she was a newborn before. Now she's a baby. Uh, in like two or so weeks, she's going to become a crawler. And I guess that's it. She just crawls around the house and she's not going to get any older than that. So it's kind of crazy there. Her birthday keeps shifting there, but it may have something to do with this actual mod uh, in the way that like the babies work and all the kind of stuff. Right. But there's a little baby Gungus. <laughs> So cute. All right. Well, yeah, I definitely want to go over there and throw her in the air every day. Right. So we uh, get like friendship points with her and stuff, which is so weird to say about my literal baby. The whole entire sentence is just wacky. Anyways, we got some cheese done over here. Yeah, I have a lot of morning busy work that I need to do as well as just like day busy work. I guess you could do an end of the month, end of the season busy work I need to do too, because all of our crop plots are going to need to be retilled in time for uh, the start of summer. So they're all going to be like pre-watered and all that kind of stuff, right? And there's Penny over here though. Let's see what she has to say. I don't think I, oh yeah, I think I did read it last episode, right? But I'll, I'll read it again. I got up early and watered some crops. Hey, she actually watered some crops. I'm like, I'm not going to see it because everything has a sprinkler on it, I think. Maybe one or two don't have a sprinkler, but uh, yeah, uh, I hope it makes your job a little easier today. That's really cool, you guys. Awesome. I also filled Zonkis' water hole. Hey, well, I can't see it right now. He's blocking it, but that's, that's really cool, you guys. I think she's done that at least once before. I only ever dreamed of living in such a beautiful place, and now it's come true. That's right. It's a dream come true. And my dream to marry a beautiful, loving wife came true, too, Penny. Who'd have thought that both of our dreams came true, right? I was so miserable back home. Oh, I don't think she said this last episode. Aw. Well, there you go, you guys. Cool. I'm, I guess I'm glad I read that on camera there. Uh, but for right now, yeah, let me let me do all this morning busy work. You guys know the drill. Like at the beginning of every episode, I have to cut this trash out because you guys have seen it a billion times. <laughs> and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, you guys are back. And I just realized. Oh, and by the way, yeah, we have a, a, a double chest right there or a, a, not a double chest, a treasure chest right there. And yeah, at the end of last episode, I looked at it and I was like, you know what? What, what can we even do with it? Because we don't really need the money. And we can actually make a pirate hat out of it. So I think we're going to do that. We have a new uh, like black shirt with a little moon on it and like stars and stuff like that. So we're slowly going to be going from like a dinosaur outfit, basically, to I guess like a black outfit. I wonder what our pants are going to look like. 
I think I could dye them, but I think I need to figure out where like the farmer pants are and then I could dye those, right? But uh, oh yeah, and then we got rid of the, uh, the, the, oh, and by the way, what do these guys need again? Oh yeah, that thing, the basalt, yeah. I don't know where we can get that other than like geodes and stuff. And speaking of such, I do have a couple geodes in my inventory. And I was kind of thinking, like, by the way, because there's trees right here. We have like a cherry tree and an apricot tree going right now. I think it has one or maybe two fruit in each of those trees. Might be a good idea to get them like right now uh, because it is the end of the month. And I don't know if they're going to like survive tomorrow because uh, like usually at the beginning of the month, like every crop dies and all the guys stuff, right? As well as, yeah, like I was saying just a second ago. Um, right now is going to be a great opportunity for us to like pre-fertilize all these uh, like crop plots and whatnot. So might as well grab some of that, maybe even craft some of them if I can. And we could actually pre-fertilize a bunch of stuff over here, which is going to be really good. As well as all of our wine up there is done too. So we're going to get insane amounts of money overnight, which is going to be perfect in time to buy insane amounts of seeds from Pierre, right? So that's going to be great. Uh, but for right now, let me just uh, fertilize a bunch of these crops over here. And yeah, one one bad thing about the spots like dying and whatnot, uh, and me having to retill them, which I hopefully didn't miss any spots. And yeah, we're going to need a bunch of fertilizer to get all that fertilized. But uh, one bad thing about that is that we do lose the fertilizer, so that kind of sucks. We lost a few uh, spots that had like quality fertilizer and speed grow and deluxe speed grow and all the kind of stuff. So that kind of sucks there. I don't know if we could actually craft anymore. And by the way, yeah, we could just throw more bones inside of the bone mill and get more of that away. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll just wait until later in the week when we can buy a bunch of deluxe speed grow for a good price from the uh, whatever her name was. But I do want to go over here. Let's grab a uh, there is right there a cloth. And I guess we'll grab I guess the farmer. Is it called farmer? Pa yeah, right there. Farmer pants. And I guess we dye that. We go over to uh, Emily using I don't know, can we use coal to get a dye? Yeah, it produces like a dark dye. I, I guess I can grab a piece of coal. Oh yeah, I have coal in my inventory already for smelling stuff. Uh, and then yeah, we can put more. Oh, we got the uh, the diamonds done up there too. Cool. Uh, but let's let's get the uh, the pirate hat going over here first, so we can see what that looks like with us on. Because I'm very curious about that. So we put the cloth there, treasure chest there. Yeah, it's worth five thousand. But we have six hundred eighteen thousand. We're going to get another like billion overnight from all the uh, the wine I'm about to collect. So uh, blip. And then oh, there you go. Put that there. What does that look like? Oh, with the sunglasses, that looks amazing. Oh, I guess my shirt, if anything, it kind of looks dark blue. Now that we kind of actually have real black right there in the hat, I guess it's kind of like a dark blue shirt. So I don't know, maybe maybe these existing farm, maybe that works fine. Uh, it's not dark enough. And of course, I still have those purple, purple uh, space boots. But for right now, yeah, let me keep doing some more busy work over here. It's already 410. Jeez, yeah, it took a lot of time for us to... Uh, here we go. It took a lot of time for us to, or for me, I guess. It was off camera for you guys, but it took a lot of time for me to retill all that land over there, unfortunately. Golly. But yeah, let me do some more busy work here. Oh, yeah, let's go to the sewer. Let's actually go there, and I guess we can go again uh, later this episode, and we actually start gathering some of the uh, solar essence or whatever it's called, and uh, use that to craft that uh, iridium band. That's going to be really cool, you guys. And then, yeah, we could actually enchant that or, like, combine it or whatever at that forge with the lucky ring or maybe the vampire ring. That'd be really cool, you guys. Uh, but yeah, I just gathered these from these trees as well as, yeah, these tea trees. You can only do it the last week of the season slash month or whatever. So there you go. Not bad. Uh, but oh, yeah, I was going to sell that wine, too. So let me go do that real quick. I'm sure you guys want to see that, right? Yeah, here we go. So these are both done, which indicates that all of these. Oh, my gosh, there we are. All of these are done inside here now. Let me grab some cauliflower for this uh, random bit right here. So we have some caviar. I don't know what we could use that for uh, other than eating, apparently. Uh, let's put the cauliflower. There you go. And of course, yeah, I have a bunch of uh, coffee done right here. It seems like, yeah, last episode, I did miss out on one keg right there, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Uh, also, the uh, little, little, like, off whatever you thing over here, the little, little cursor off the screen thing. It, it doesn't work perfectly with the kegs, unfortunately. Like, I could walk past it. It does it, like, for every other one. It doesn't do it for all of them, unfortunately. But it still works out a lot faster than actually hovering over each and every single one of those things manually, right? But, yeah, I'm going to throw a bunch of, uh, what are these? Star fruit? Uh, should I do ancient fruit next? I'm starting to get a bunch of those. Yeah, I think I will. I guess I'll grab ancient fruit there, and then I'll do a bunch of coffee here, too. So let me do all this busy work real quick. And I guess we'll go down to the sewers and buy a bunch of uh, solar essence or something real quick. Oh, yeah. And then uh, I think someone last episode, the bear, that bear over by the sewer entrance. Someone said it was like salmon dinner that that guy wants. So I guess, yeah, that actually looks like it. Amaranth, kale, and salmon. We, if I have a salmon, which, by the way, salmon, what season do you, if I don't have a salmon. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, We can get it. Oh, it's, oh, you get it during the fall, man. I don't know if I could buy it from anyone. The actual salmon dinner. Yeah, it doesn't say who you could buy it for or from, unfortunately. You could only sell it to the shipping box or Pierre, so that kind of sucks there. But uh, yeah, let me let me just do all this uh, keg busy work real quick. 
All right, you guys are back. I'm heading into town. I'm, I'm going over to Emily because I don't know if I could actually uh, use her die thing like whenever. I just assume maybe her house closes at like eight because apparently everyone's house is closed at eight, right? So here we go. Okay, she's open, right? Oh, we got a cutscene. Yeah, I haven't been here in a while. Golly. <laughs> I just can't get this jar open. <laughs> Jeez, Haley, settle down. Golly. <laughs> okay, am I going to help her out with my pirate hat on and everything? <laughs> Oh, it's you, Waffle, right? Yeah, it's me. How's it going? How'd you know? <laughs> just turning around looking at my face. Like, I know I'm disguised as a pirate now, but I'm the only person in town who dresses up in goofy outfits and stuff. You know it's me. Golly. <laughs> Say, you're pretty strong, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm farmer strong. Yeah. Rah. So it sounds like you're strong too, Haley. Jeez, just by the sound of your voice. You're right. Then you shouldn't have any problem opening this door for me. Yeah, didn't I say I was going to stop doing that goofy voice? <laughs> oh, Uh-oh, I can't open the jar. Oh my god, okay. That would have been embarrassing not being able to open up a jar in front of a girl like that, right? <laughs> hey, you did it! Oh yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what voice. I, it, I, I guess I'll just do that voice I just did right there. You're stronger than you look! Yeah, there you go. Like a somewhat normal voice. What? Yeah, what was that supposed to mean? Stronger than you look? <laughs> Is she calling me ugly there or something? I don't know. It sounds like it. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Although, he kind of did like a backhanded comment right there, or co compliment right there. It kind of sucks. But where's that die? Is that is it right here? Is this the die uh, thing? How do you how do you die? I've, I don't think we've ever won the world. I don't think I've ever died anything. Uh, so there's a bunch of oh here it is right here. Oh wait, hold on. This is where you like mix dies or will die farmer pants. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we've never... I could use Iridium to get, like, a dark purple color. Oh, I can't use coal. Why can't I use coal? What the... I can get Salmon Bear. I could use a Salmon Bear to get, like, red pants. Wait, how do you... It said I could use coal for the dye, right? But it doesn't let me do it right now. Or, wait, hold on. Let's try, let's try it with clay for... Like, what happens if I put clay? What does this do? Hold on. I, actually, you know what? Let me read this. Place an item of each color into the dye pots in order to dye any dyeable clothes you're wearing. Okay, so I guess if I wanted to have like a, I have to put this in the brown. Okay, so you put that in the brown. Okay, but so how do how do I get the? Ew. And I can't. Yeah, I can, I, can, I can only. That's what that little symbol is right there. So you put that in the brown. You put that in the purple. You put that in the red. Okay. Actually, yeah. What what happens if I just mix some colors together, like orange and red? Like, am I going to get like a black or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I have to hit OK and then it'll tell me, but I'd hate to use like an Iridium. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll use a tea leaf too. Because isn't is if you add like what red, blue and like yellow, maybe green, aren't you supposed to get like black or something or do you get white? I forget. Either way, I guess we'll hit OK and see what happens. Uh, but I don't have yellow or whatever or blue or anything like that. I, I have purple, but it's Iridium or it's Lifelix. So I'm not using either of those. OK, golly. So let's see what happened right there. Did that work? Did we get anything out of that? Did, did anything even happen right there? I don't know what happened right there. I'm going to, have to experiment around with this a little bit, you guys. Oh, do I have to put? I think I have to put a color in every slot there, huh? Is that what I have to do? It looks like it. It looks like I can't like customize. Oh, do I need? I think I need like an empty bottle. Yeah, I don't think the game ever like explained the whole dyeing process. I might need to look this up. To create a dye, interact with a pot and have an item in inventory representing each color. Man. So I do have to have every color there. Inventory items have a color dot in the bottom left, corresponding with a color. Yeah, it, it, we figured that out. Uh, once each dye pot contains an item, which uh, we haven't done just yet. Now, I know there's Stardew Valley. Pro I'm literally episode like 134 or whatever. I haven't even dyed anything before. I'm still learning. It's crazy how much stuff there is in this game, you guys. But uh, once every dye pot has an item, a dye bottle lights up. Okay, so that's, that's when the bottle actually appears is when we have one of every color, it looks like right there, huh? Clicking the dye bottle button opens another menu with three separate hue, saturation, and lightness. So why, why did it say, why did the built-in wiki thing say something about like coal being like black? Tailoring shirt produces dye. Black? Well, I can get a black shirt by combining it together with a piece of cloth. So that's cool and all, but uh, I guess I need to figure out like, does it say, original about, does it say what color that is? Okay, produces dye purple. Uh, iron bar, that doesn't produce dye, does it? Uh, I guess it does, but I don't know what that is. White? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I need to experiment more with this. So like salmonberry, and then mud, and then I don't know what yellow would be. Uh, then green. Yeah, we have tea leaves here. Blue. I don't know. Blueberries, and then purple. I don't know. Something else that's not an iridium bar. <laughs>
<laughs> and then we could actually get a diary there and then we could mess around with it, I suppose, huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we have uh, an ability to get something like that at home or if we have to always come over to Emily's to do that, right? But for right now, it's 8, 10 p.m. Oh, yeah, we still have the traveling merchant. Um, I think she, doesn't she close at like 11, I want to say? Or does she, all, I think she closed at 8, doesn't she? Didn't we test that one time? I think so, but let's go down to the sewer. Let's get some star or uh, solar essence from this guy. Uh, even if he doesn't, you're not like the other humans, are you? Yeah, um, I don't even know if you're here. Oh, you can get 10 of them at a Okay, that's actually good. So if we come back here tomorrow, boom, boom, there you go, clean out his inventory. If we come back here tomorrow, and by the way, I, I don't think I bought a sprinkler from him on Friday, did I? I completely forgot to do that. Whoops. I'm like, right now is a really good time to get sprinklers. I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. I can't remember right now, but uh, 8.30. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll ride over on our horse over to the uh, traveling merchant. I feel, I feel like if I just go down to the other entrance and then walk up, that'd be a little bit slower. Just a little bit. And our uh, luck today is plus 1.3. Oh, what the? Oh, geez, now that reminds me I have to do the sunfish mission, too. Oh, it's too late to do that. Because you have to fish for them before seven. Man. But it, that didn't count. I found one in the heckin' trash, and it still says I have five. Man. All right, well, we already did that mission at least once, maybe two or three times before for Demetrius. So it's not that big of a deal if we miss out on one or fail one right there. And we're going to fail the other one anyways. Oh, hey, there's uh, Abigail randomly. She see what she has to say. I wonder what happened if I spent all night in the grave. I don't know. You get uh, possessed by a ghost or something, especially near Halloween time. <laughs> Maybe a wicked ghost would appear. Ooh, Is she telling me like a secret right there? Like if I hang out near the uh, the, the cemetery, like an actual ghost would visit. I'm like, I literally got visited. By yeah, she's gone. I literally got visited by a ghost, a ghost of my grandpa. So uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe I should tell her a spooky story. <laughs> that would be pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> but for right now, yeah, I just heard a, uh, a sound effect that I oh, here it is right here. I can pan for gold. I still have this thing in my inventory. It's kind of crazy. Thought I'd take it out by now, but no. And we got the iron and coal. Wow, pretty good amount of coal right there. Four coal. Not bad. 9.40 p.m. though, so let's just go home. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's one of the trees over here. Oh, yeah, it was by the bus stop. Yeah, yeah. Man, I, I, yeah, I also need to clean out a bunch of... Oh, wait, yeah, there are a couple trees that need to be... Uh, here you go. But I do need to get rid of all the little, like, baby saplings and random trash that's around here and place down some, uh, some pathways. Oh, wow, I can kill those saplings in one hit now with the uh, Iridium Axe. That's really good, you guys. And we have some more saplings or whatever down there, too. So, yeah, man, this is really good. So, I wonder how... I don't have any trees to test it out on here, unfortunately. Oh, I guess this... Yeah, this tree doesn't belong here. I guess I can cut down this and that one right there, too. Two hits? And then one hit of the stump. Boom, three hits to kill the entire thing. Man, that's actually really good. Yeah, I haven't used the... Uh, the Iridium acts like at all basically since we got upgraded, guys. That was awesome. Yeah, speaking of such, I definitely want to upgrade, like, say, the uh I don't know, the watering can next? I don't think you could upgrade the uh the sickle. I believe that's one of the things you can't upgrade, unfortunately. I don't know if that's a uh and by the way, we have a rock right there, but yeah, I definitely want to clean out a bunch of random trash around here. So uh it's 11 10 p.m. We don't really have that much time, but at least we can clean it out a little bit faster by uh, hitting these saplings in one hit with the axe now. So let me continue doing this and cutting down actual fully grown trees like that in three hits. It's amazing, you guys. All right, I'm going to need to come back here pretty soon. Oh, no, the pine tar right there. Not bad. I'm going to need to come back here pretty soon to put down those little pathways to make sure the uh, so that doesn't like continue to spread in the future. As well as I believe a comment last episode said to do this. Oh, and the stuff up there is done too. Um, To kind of fence off, kind of like what we did at the end of winter or the, at the end of fall or something like that. We'd fence this off, let the grass grow, and then I guess all the animals can basically feed off the uh, the, the silos right now, right? Like normally. Uh, so that's definitely something we could do. In, like, I don't know if the beginning of every season, if we have that little, like we have grass stores right there and get 10 of them, right? Or, oh yeah, you, you, you only get 10 from the fiber seed, yeah. I don't know if it grows like crazy at the beginning of every season or what, but I guess I'll grab some walls and we could kind of fence that off, at least temporarily. Yeah, we have stone fences right there. Uh, hardwood fence. I'll think of those. Oh, and yeah, here are the paths right there. I don't know if I have enough time to place all those down, though, unfortunately. Uh, stone fences. I, I guess I could use those. That's, that's fine, I suppose. Okay, well, here we go. There's a grass starter right there. I don't know if it's going to spread like crazy again, but uh, I suppose like right here-ish. We can place down a wall and let all that grass kind of... Six. I'm um, probably not. Uh, I guess I'll do this. There you go. That's fine. Uh, at least at least this is kind of fenced off and all the animals are going to hopefully stay out. Yeah, they can't they can't go on that side. Okay, good. Uh, it's 1250 right now. Yeah, let me just hurry up. Golly. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't have enough time to place down those uh, pathways. Maybe I could do it in the morning. Oh, wow. I can make three more grass starters. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Maybe I'll just let the grass continue to spread naturally. Ten, ten fiber. I guess. Yeah, you know what? 
There we go. If it's a beginning of the season thing that it just does, that'd be really good, you guys. I don't know, maybe I'll put another one right there, and then another one, like, right here, and then, I guess, another one up here, and then hopefully it spreads like crazy overnight, right? But, uh, uh speaking of overnight, hopefully the, uh, the tilled land over there stays tilled, right? That'd be really good. All right, well, it's 140 right now. I guess we'll go to the normal bit. Do we have enough time to go over there? Did I water all the cacti today? I don't think I did. 150. Ah, water them, water them, water them. Oh, I guess I did. Okay. Oh, and I still made it to bed. Holy heck, how'd I do that? <laughs> All right, let's go to sleep for the night. Golly. Okay, so we got uh, 177,000 overnight. Golly, how much of that was? Uh, 163,800 was from the Starfruit wine. Man, that's good money. <laughs> Jeez. All right, that's definitely going to help out with our seed lately. We're going to be buying a bunch of seeds today, you guys. So, you know, just going to set us back a little bit, and we're, we're kind of on our way to a million right now. So, yeah, hopefully that's going to help out quite a bit, right? But right now, let's just do all the morning business work over here and... I'm probably going to be cutting out a bunch of footage uh, of me, like, planting down a bunch of seeds and all that kind of stuff, so I don't know if this episode is going to be relatively short in that regard, as well as, yeah, I need to place down those uh, pathways. Uh, hopefully a bunch of random trash hasn't spread. And, uh, speaking of spreading, I guess we'll see if those grass starters actually spread like crazy at the beginning of the month like they did at the beginning of spring, so I suppose we'll do that after we say hi to Petty. Summer may be searing hot, but the humidity feels great on the skin, that's true. Let's go see uh, not only Penny, but our loving daughter. Oh, yeah, I forgot to get the diamond. Man, we missed out on a whole day of progress with the diamonds. Let's throw her in the sky like we always need to do every day. <laughs> there you go. And I guess we'll go see what our uh, special request is today now that we have none, because we heckin' failed both of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have the symbol over there for me to click on. Oops. We do have a... Uh, no, oh, by the way. Well, if it's spread over here, it's already gotten eaten, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. But uh, at least they already have a bunch of uh, stuff inside of the silos for them to eat, right? Yeah, that's all, like, replenished automatically from the auto-feeder thing, right? Or auto-whatever that thing is. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let me do all the morning business work over here, and I guess we'll go over to Pierre and give him, like, a billion dollars to buy a billion seeds. As well as, I guess we'll go back down to the sewer and buy another ten uh, solar essences from the sewer guy. And I think after that, we should be able to make that ring, right? That, that, that iridium band? That's going to be really cool, you guys. So let me do all this business work real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. I guess back. Um, yeah, I completely forgot to come into here and buy seeds, you guys. Golly. So let's come in here and let's buy some seeds. I thought Peter closed at like four. I always get the times and stuff messed up. And it was this empty our inventory of some of the stuff we don't really need. And let's make room for a bunch of, uh, and by the way, you guys might have noticed in that footage uh, I just showed a second ago. Oh, you might not have seen those off screen, probably. But uh, all the crop plots are untilled, unfortunately. I've been spending a bunch of time retilling that and. I, there's just way too many crop plots there, you guys. I definitely need to upgrade my hoe after I uh, retill everything. And of course, that means I have to rewater everything too because the sprinklers didn't water them because they weren't tilled. So that really sucks there. But what are we going to get? What's what's really good? I guess maybe peppers because it continues to produce. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll do the one that does it really quickly. Although you guys said to get something that doesn't finish super quick so we don't have to worry about like harvesting them and replanting them quite as often as we did with like the, uh, the parsnips and garlic last season, right? But was it Spangle and Poppy? I guess I can look at which one uh, Spangle is it Spangle Honey or Poppy Honey. That's better. So 392 there. 392 versus 532. Golly, Poppies. Yes, please. And we can give those extra Poppies to Penny. She really likes those. I, I'm like, she's maxed out. She's literally my wife. So, uh, oh yeah, what do we need? Just eight? Yeah, just eight to do the Grandpa's uh, flower thing over there. So that's fine. I guess we'll just do a bunch of pepper. And I think, what was it? A hundred didn't even fill out that whole first area, so 200 isn't enough for the whole entire area. I don't know, maybe 150. There you go, and then we can get something else. Oh yeah, blueberries is another good one. Blueberries is great, uh, just like the uh, the strawberries, but it takes 13 days to mature and then continues to produce. We could do blue, but let's do, let's do a bunch. Let's just do a heck ton, you guys. Oh, let's do like 50. I don't think we've ever done 50 blueberries at a time, you guys. Tomatoes. That could be pretty good. Continues to produce, just like the peppers. 11, uh, and then melons. Yeah, I'm not crazy about them. Takes 12 to golly. It takes 12 days for that. Radish. I, I'm like, it definitely needs something like radish. Maybe I get 150 of those too, golly. There you go, 150 and then blueberry. I don't know if we have any room left for anything else. And then hops, corn. I should definitely get corn, just because it takes 14 days and it'd grow all fall too, right? So maybe I'll get maybe 50 corn. 50 blueberry, 50 corn, and then corn continues to grow into the fall. Definitely want to plant the corn in the, uh, the area that the Junimos take care of, right? I have 300 seeds right now, just looking. Is that enough? If it's not enough, maybe I'll get tomato seeds, too. Or melon, or maybe even more pepper. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's fill the gaps with wheat. Then we'll get a bunch of wheat, and I think if we have wheat, 
Doesn't it also give us uh, stuff that goes into a silo too? I think so. I forgot what it was called. Uh, but you guys know what I mean. Anyways, while we're in the area, it's 4 p.m. Okay, no one's going to see you. Yep. Our luck is kind of, eh, it's kind of so-so. It was plus one, or I don't know, if it was, is it plus 1.5 or plus 0.15? I don't know what that is. Prismatic Jelly and then guess his favorite. So we already did the famous omelet thing. Let's do Prismatic Jelly. Let's do that because we still haven't done it and very much incentivizes us to go back into the caves and all the kinds of jazz, right? But, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go down here. Let's go buy a bunch of, uh, iron in the air. Let's go buy 10 more, uh, solar essence from this guy. And then we should be able to make the obsidian or, uh, what do you call it? Iridium band, right? And we could wear that. Man, I keep forgetting the readers. Yeah. Boom. Wait, what? There you go. Grab all those. Oh, man, I just barely have enough inventory space. Now I'm full. <laughs> all right, perfect. All right, well, let's, let's go back home. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to cut out a bunch of footage here, you guys. But hopefully you guys are okay with it. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Like I said earlier, because it's the first of the month, I'm going to have to do a lot of stuff off camera. And there's my loving, beautiful wife over there hanging out with her friend Maru. Uh, but I'm, you know, going to have to cut out a bunch of me just tilling the land and planting stuff. As you can see, I'm tilling all the land over here still, but I'd say, like, 60% of it's still untilled, so it's going to be a little while. And I still have to water all this, too, unfortunately. So let me do all this busy work real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Oh gosh, I'm out. Oh jeez, yeah, I just noticed I'm almost out of energy, and I'm almost out of heckin' time here too. Wanna eat a fuel snack? Is that gonna make my energy go up? A decent... not really that much. Man. Uh, maybe a salmon berry too, if I could eat that real quick. Oop, there you go. And... at least I have enough water, it seems like, to maybe finish all this, so that's good. Oh, whoops, man, I missed one spot right there, golly. Yeah, it's been happening a lot lately, guys. I'm super duper rusty right now, watering all these second crops. But uh, yeah, I definitely need to upgrade my uh, my watering can and whatnot here uh, sometime soon, you guys. But uh, we don't miss out on too much. Whoop, whoop, and then whoop. I know I'm I'm definitely falling asleep out here, you guys. But uh, it might be worth it. Oof, 150. Oh, I got all these crops right here. Okay, good, good. Uh, I'm going to lose a thousand gold overnight. Not that big of a deal. I honestly don't care. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. Okay, golly, there you go. <laughs> I love my crops so much, I'm willing to lose money over them. Oh, what in the world? Oh, yeah, I didn't I didn't sell anything overnight, so we just teleport. I, I was about to say, like, usually there's an overnight sequence there, but no. Yeah, the only penalty we got right there was like a thousand gold, and now we have half energy, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks there, but uh, honestly, it was a sacrifice I was willing to take, like you said. And the only thing I didn't plant down were the rashes. I did plant down those uh, poppies, and I watered them, which is good. And speaking of such, do this. And I get a comment. Oh, yeah, I'll have this. I'm probably going to end up episode off right here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Two iridium more. It makes sense. After having a few days of eight and like seven and whatnot, it makes sense. Uh, but like I said, uh, someone actually commented a while ago, I could fill up the uh, watering can from the sink, so that's cool. And some of the ants become very active. I could watch them for hours. They have a pretty complex civilization from the looks of it. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. We weren't married to Penny last summer, were we? So she's telling us all this, like, season stuff for the very first time, which is awesome. Like, as our wife? That's really cool there, you guys. Is there anything else she has to say? Or, uh, nope, just hug and kiss. Cool. Anyways, uh, take care of the coffee. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't put any of the cheese and whatnot down here, so I doubt. Yeah, no, none of it's done down there, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks there, but, uh, yeah. Definitely want to go up here, hug and kiss, or throw- Oh, yeah, we're not doing either. We're throwing our baby up in the air. That's what we're doing up here. Yeah, I need to get in the habit of doing that every day. Even though right now it's just an outro day, I guess you can say, right? But is there anything- Oh, yeah, I forgot the iridium there, too. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, anything happening in here, though? I guess not, but at least all the- all the sprinklers are working for these over here. So we got at least one day of progress. I guess today, next episode, I'm going to be taking care of all this. I did till a little bit of it down here, and I think I showed it on camera, did I? Uh, but I did place down a bunch of stone down here. I, I lost all my stone, unfortunately, so I'm down to three right now. Uh, I took some of them out of my slingshot to craft more uh, stone pathways, but this should be like full coverage over here. It's just that, you know, after a little while, the stone pathways were going to break, I think. Do they break? Or I guess they get struck by lightning and then they break. Uh, but I don't know if they break down like the fences do. Because uh, over here, the hardwood fences says it's the most durable type, but I don't think there's a most durable type of floor, is there? It doesn't say, yeah, it's just all just purely decorative. I definitely want to use something like this, though, to kind of, you know, everywhere, every, every now and then, just to kind of spice things up a little bit. As well as I said a billion years ago, I was going to change these pathways <laughs> to these pathways right here. <laughs> I forgot to do it. Whoops. But anyways, that's something I could do uh, next episode and the coming episodes and whatnot. But uh, just glancing over here, I guess you can see if you guys are like Stardew Valley, like experts, you can see like where I planted everything. I put corn around the perimeter here. So it goes all the way. Wait, what are they doing? Oh, they're getting coffee. I was about to say, like, there's nothing I should harvest. 
But the corn is all around the perimeter here, as you can see, which is pretty cool. The corn doesn't have that little trellis or whatever it's called that kind of blocks the pathway. So don't need to worry about like it blocking a gateway right down here is uh, hot peppers, blueberries right here, right in front of the uh, the Junima hut, which is pretty cool. And more hot peppers over here. And then, of course, all the way over here by grandpa's uh, shrine, we have the poppies. Oh, what in the world? Wait, are the yeah, yeah, OK, yeah, I was about to say, like, what in the heck? These, these are just a regular wild honey, so that, that makes sense there. Uh, 24 hours till we get more random wild honey right there, though, but do I want to break all these and place them right back down so they're all synchronized, or... Because I have to go to there, like, two days in a row to get all the honey. It's kind of throwing me off, honestly, so... Maybe uh, next episode I'll break all those, or at least I'll break the ones I didn't just harvest and then place them down right now uh, so they're all synchronized on the same day, right? We're going to miss out on, like, one little batch of wild honey, but... I'm like 18 of it right there is only 2,500. So we're honestly not missing out on that much money. I did. Yeah. One thing I did miss out on uh, yesterday, though, was getting the roast. So we missed out on like one day of that. And uh, I mean, none of them. Yeah, I never got them a Nautilus shell. I gave the Nautilus shell to them, didn't I? Yeah, there's seven right there. There's nine right there. So these guys are maxed out, which is cool. Well, they maxed out 10, but you guys know what I mean. As well as, yeah, in the greenhouse, I know there's a uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I'm like the fruit trees done matter, but the star fruit have been done for at least a day. So kind of missed out on that, unfortunately. Uh, but anyways, uh, I guess I can just start doing the outro right now and we can start looking forward to next episode. That'll be pretty cool, you guys. Maybe next episode we can experiment more with the dyeing and all that kind of stuff. I could actually go through my chests and see, like, is there anything like of each color that I can kind of gather and we can go over to Emily's house and kind of make something out of it? Yeah, and then Linus saved us right there. Oh, wait, hold on. No, oh, I have no idea how much money they took. Yeah, I was about to say, like, did we not lose money right there? But I guess we did. We got Pepper Poppers from Chain again. Cool. Uh, but yeah, maybe next episode we can experiment more with the uh, the dye like stuff over at Emily's house. And, uh, hey, feel free to leave any comments down below of like what we should do to to make the dyes. Because I definitely want to like dye my pants, and I don't know if I can, but maybe I can dye my space boots to be like black so everything matches here. Especially because it's spooky. So well, it's, as the video goes up right now, tomorrow's Halloween. But by the time next episode happens, Halloween is already passed. So I guess for right now you can say my Halloween costume is like a weird pirate with a moon shirt on or something. It's kind of weird, but anyways, let me just do the outro right now. We can start looking forward to the next episode. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out. So you don't miss it because it's a new season and that means a lot of new fun as well. Is that one mission to finally get the prismatic jelly? Are we finally going to get it this time around? I don't know. I definitely want to try. Uh, maybe we're going to have better luck if we have like a bunch of bombs. We go to the skull cavern and all that kind of stuff because we went down to level 100 that one time, right? So maybe we could finally get that uh, prismatic jelly from a prismatic slime now, right? Finally, <laughs> after like six, seven tries. But uh, over here, you can see I have a bunch of mushrooms now, like a bunch of giant mushrooms and even some baby mushrooms. So yeah, that person that said, hey, just kind of leave the mushrooms alone and they just kind of spread on their own. Yeah, you're definitely right. We have a heckin' mushroom forest over here now. It's kind of crazy, but uh, I already did the full outro right there. So thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.